amigos, bienvenidos a esta edición especial de Juegos Juguetes y Coleccionables. Yo soy Ricardo Méndez y estamos en el showroom de Universal para mostrarnos todo lo referente a Jurassic Park. Y vamos a la parte de los juguetes y para eso me robé a Ray para que me platique qué está sucediendo. Hi Ray, welcome to the show. Hey, how's it going, guys? Now we have these new uh, editions of Barbie yep. for Jurassic World. Yep. Yes, so our first time ever, our partnership with Mattel, uh, we're going to introduce a Barbie collector line of Jurassic World characters. Uh, this is going to be co-branded with them. We're going to have Owen and Claire at $24.99 each, and everybody's been loving it. So now this, this Claire, it does look like Claire. I mean, it's not Barbie as Claire. Yep. It is Claire. Yep, yep, it does. And it's it's she's a beautiful doll. She's just an amazing, amazing, beautiful doll. Yeah, well, and that, that one does look like a can. <laughs> Trust me, we did our best, and we're still <laughs> look. We did our best to try to ca capture Chris Pratt as much as possible, as you know. I know, Fashion I know, dolls. I know, I know, I know. But now we have the the, the great success of toys uh, nowadays, which is mystery packs. Yes, yes. And we have these mystery packs. What's inside of them? So, of course, I mean, what's inside is our dinos. Uh, the big thing about us is it's not much different from what we have, uh, what other companies are doing, right? The biggest difference we have, however, is that each one of these dinos are easy, is either going to have one point or two points of articulation, uh, whether it's the neck, whether it's the, the mouth, or whether it's the legs. So um, that's the first time I've ever seen, at least on my side. Um, that we have any articulation in a basic uh, blind bag. Yeah, that's, that, that was something I, I, was, uh, I was about to comment with the Rex, let's do the Rex. I mean, because uh, this this mystery packs are are usually just a static figure. I mean, mm -hmm. but this has this movement that you can play, or 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 or, or grow up the, the the play that you have, mm -hmm. and you can combine it with this three uh, this three to quarters inch this figures. Yes, actually. So uh, if you if you know kids again, if you don't want to buy the blind and you need to know who you're buying, you can always buy the three pack. You will always get an exclusive figure, ex exclusive dino with these, whether it's a new deco or whether it's our villain. So there's always a way, uh, a different way to buy your dinos as well. So we want to give the kids and consumers the options for that, right? Um, before we even get into this huge thing of toys that you see here, okay. right, is I want to show uh, and, and explain to you guys what Mattel did is amazingly, is, is universal scale. What we wanted to do with Mattel is create a world where everything is in scale with each other. Everything that you see here from the basic figures all the way to see to Mosasaurus over there, everything's in scale with okay. each other. I know previously um, other companies would make a T-Rex that is, you know, relatively small. Yeah. Here you will always see a T-Rex in that scale. Okay. Right? So, so yeah, 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 it is. It, it does have sense now, yeah, you said it. I mean, this uh, is TG Moloch. Yeah. It is short one. We know the Velociraptor. It's not that big. There's a Dilophosaurus as well. Yeah. So okay. As you can see here, in scale with our basic action figure, all in scale, right? Wow. The cool thing about this is, as you go up higher in price point, the scales get larger, and the features are more abundant. So it's our Mosasaurus. So this was the big, uh, the big dino that was underwater uh, that had the amazing finale in the first film, uh, Jurassic World One. Cool thing. This is the package. And when you get her out of package, it's a one-time customer assembly, and that's her. Cool, she has soft skin, softer. Cool thing about her, though, is we work with filmmakers, and the filmmaker said, I want this to go underwater. We're like, all right. So now she is submersible. She can go underwater. She can go in the bath and all that good stuff. So yeah, there you go. Mosasaurus. It también está enorme. Now we have the Matchbox. Line. line, yes, and uh, to your point, uh, in the beginning when we worked with Mattel, we unlock a lot of the other brands that are working with them. So, the first thing you see there is our character um, Hot Wheels cars. Uh, they were able to redesign all our all of their vehicles into what our T Rex would look like, our Stegosaurus, or Triceratops, which is fantastic. Uh, moving over, you also see the Matchbox stuff, what we're calling our Dino Capture and Dino Rescue. Uh, we want to make sure that. The story we tell is that you're always capturing and rescuing the dinos from, from a horrible, horrible death, uh, which is fantastic because it really helps play that storyline. The other piece to this is we're also doing our basic uh, vehicles as well at a dollar, um, which is amazing because we're starting to capture really great, authentic, old school vehicles as well, from JP1 all the way to JP2, uh, sorry, JW2. The other ones doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving. I'm loving this one. 
and that one, and I think I'm going to buy all of them. That's fantastic. And now these are the um, yeah, our play, play sets. Yeah, our play sets for the Matchbox stuff. So we want to give the kids the opportunity to take their play on the go. So as you can see here, we're offering a full, complete play. You get a vehicle, a dyno, as well as a play set. And you can see here that uh, it opens up. It opens up to a play set, capturing something, a, a great scene from the film, which is great. And then if you end up collecting both, you can actually kind of semi put them together to build up a little bit of a bigger world, which is great. Yeah, that looks great. Now we have this uh, for the collector market. Yep, uh, a collector like myself. Uh, this is the closest thing I will get to owning a JP Jeep. But we wanted to make sure that we, we give the collectors what they want. Um, this, uh, our Jeep diecast Wrangler from Matchbox, which is great. And this is in resemblance for Jurassic World. Ju more, more using the Jurassic Park. We wanted to just give something more uh, closer to what you know, what we, I as a kid remember, you know. Now this is not this is not diecast. This is, this is not diecast. This is plastic, but this is definitely something from um, uh, a feature toy. So uh, what this set will come with is a, a pterodon or a pterodactyl, and uh, it'll still fit your basic figures, but you will able you'll be able to catch your dinos by flinging this net. I've been. I have. I need practice on this net, so I don't know if it's going to work. No, it's not working. I can get it to work, but I need more practice on this stuff. But, yeah. but, but now RC. I mean, you gotta have to. You, you need an RC toy. Yes, you do. You need an RC toy. So, this is our uh, fifty-dollar RC toy. And the cool thing about this is, when you have uh, the, the Jeep running and you're with your control and it's uh, it's driving, the Raptor will actually run with the toy. So it's cool because the legs will be moving and all that stuff. And at some point in time, the Raptor is actually going to grab Owen and pull him out of the car, which is fantastic. So it's a nice, fun, fun play for the kids.